Hey everyone and welcome to Real Yoga. My name is Hannah and this is Felix and today we're bringing you a yin practice. So if you've got a blanket lying around the house, go grab that. Bonus points if your blanket matches your yoga pants today. We're going to get pretty deep. We're going to slow way, way down. I run pretty cold, so I'm going to keep my cozy sweater on. But other than that, grab your stretchy pants and we'll meet you on the mat. Okay, so Baloo heard we were just chilling, so he decided this is 100% the practice for him. If you've got that blanket, fold it as thick as you sort of can and lay it across your yoga mat where your knees are going to be. So we'll stay on the knees for a while and essentially the use of our blanket is just to give our knees a little extra cushioning. So hopefully my knees don't disappear in their epic camouflage. We're going to begin on all fours. So come into your tabletop position once you're ready. No rush. There is no rushing in yin. It is super, super slow and chill. And if at any time in the yin practice you start to get really bored, which is super common, I mean, we're not really doing anything too energetic, see if you can continue to use your breath as an anchor. So anytime you feel your thoughts really drifting or you're like, oh my God, let me get out of here as soon as possible, see if you can instead think, I am breathing in as you inhale. And as you exhale, think, I am breathing out. So that's going to be sort of your mantra for your yin practice today. All right, so from all fours, hopefully you're all set up now. Untuck your toes, spread your fingers wide, and we'll start with a few rounds of gentle cat-cow. So as you inhale, drop your belly, micro bend your elbows as you lift your chin and roll your butt muscles to the sky. And then stay here for an extra breath. Take another inhale. And this time as you exhale, start to press the mat away from you as you curl your tailbone towards your heels, lift your belly strongly towards your spine, lift your spine to the sky. Again, another round of breath here. Keep pressing the mat away from you. And when it's your next turn to inhale, once again, drop your belly, slight bend in your elbows, stretching the front of your throat and really pressing your heart forward in between your arms. Nice. Again, exhale, start to round through your spine. Draw your belly in strongly, chin towards your chest. And then one more round here, inhaling, dropping the belly, curving the spine in one direction and then exhale to curve that baby in the other direction. Nice. All right, on your next inhale, bring it back to center. And then from here, we're simply going to pick up this right foot and place your right foot next to your right thumb and you can help it there if it didn't quite make it. Make sure that your opposite knee, your left knee is comfortable and happy. Front knee over your front ankle. And now take your hands and bring them to the right thigh. Maybe you interlace your fingers here. Excuse me, I thought yin was slow and my hair would be fine down, but it never is. <laughs> interlace your fingers, press your knee away from you. So lift your chest as you do that. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, can you settle into this shape? Okay. So we are going to be here for about a minute or so, depending on how good my sense of timing is. Nice. So again, as you inhale, lift your chest. Maybe you draw your low belly in slightly. And as you exhale, keep that contraction and see if you can continue to use the exhale breath to sink deeply into the shape. Nice. If it feels comfortable, you can even close down your eyes so you eliminate one of your senses. And speaking of senses, if there are any noises around you that you feel are bothering you, instead can you work with those sounds? So notice how far can you hear into the distance. Maybe you can hear the street. Maybe you can hear your upstairs neighbors and try and notice as many sounds as possible without bringing any judgment to them. Just notice yourself sort of enveloped by sound. Take another deep, full breath in here. Exhale, 
Can you relax a little more? Maybe by now that left hip flexor is really starting to fire up on you. See if you can stick with it. I know that obviously pain, we don't want to stick with pain, but stretch is, is okay, that's why we're here. <laughs> and dealing with it is one of our practices of yoga and for sure it's the practice in yin. How long can you maintain comfort in your mind and in your body while everything else is telling you there's nothing comfortable about this at all? All right, we'll be here for two more breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale. One more full breath in. Can you lift your heart space? And then exhale, release your fingertips, bring them back down to the mat. And then we're gonna simply take this right foot and stretch it all the way back, tuck your toes underneath you. And maybe you saw your body a little bit forwards and backwards. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Replace that right knee back down to your blanket and we'll take it straight to the other side. So lift up your left foot and step your left foot next to your left thumb. Nice, make sure that back knee is nice and comfy on your blanket or whatever you're using. Get situated here, front big toe points forward and then take your hands, interlace your fingers and bring your hands to your left thigh now. Press your thigh away from you as you inhale, lift your chest. Nice, and then as you exhale, set along the knee in. Okay, you sort of know the expansion of time that we're gonna be here for now. And you know that it's not all that pleasant. <laughs> and already, if the thoughts start running through your mind, the to-do lists, especially if you're practicing in real time. So this video is coming out in December. And for those of us that celebrate the holiday season in December, slowing down and giving yourself this time to really kind of tap into some moments of stillness. I mean, surely that's one of the best gifts you could give yourself this season. Unless of course, like me, you bought yourself a pair of slippers that resemble your dogs. <laughs> Uh, I'll put the link to that company in the comments section or the video description because 100% you want to check out this company. <laughs> Take a full breath in. Can you lift your heart space again? And as you exhale, can you settle in a little deeper? Hoosa. Nice. Inhale. Find the space in your upper body. And as you exhale, can you get heavy in your lower body? And maybe you're like, Hannah, I don't need any more weight down there. <laughs> it's enough. I hear ya. <laughs> See if you can use that exhale to release. One more breath in here. One more long breath out. <sighs> Great. Release your fingertips back down to the earth. And then send this left leg all the way back. Tuck the toes under, left leg is straight. And then once again, just shift slowly forwards and backwards. Nice. Alrighty. From here, take your left knee back down. And you can sit back onto your hips. We're gonna move this uh, blanket out of the way. And this time we're going to turn our blanket into a little sausage roll. That's a really Australian thing. Shout out if you let me, if you know what a sausage roll is. Anyway, this is what a blanket sausage roll looks like. So roll up your blanket. And if you, again, don't have your blanket, you don't need it necessarily. And from here, we're going to come all the way down into our bellies. So come on down. And then we want to sort of slide this roll just underneath our rib cage or right on our bottom ribs. So we're setting up for a Sphinx pose. So take your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. I like to pick up one leg and then the other and really stretch my legs out long behind me. 
and then let your feet go about hip distance apart and you can let your feet fall out to the sides and your toes point into the center. Spread your fingers really wide and press into your forearms to find this length and space through your front body. And then as you exhale, can you squeeze your shoulder blades together and reach your heart forward. So the blanket is there just for some gentle support. And if in this shape, your lower back is like, nah, -uh, then no problem. Slide your hands forward slightly so your elbows aren't quite underneath your shoulders. And then again, you can stay here. It's a little less intense on the low back. And that blanket is just a really nice support for underneath your rib cage. So maybe here as you inhale, breathe into that blanket or rolled up whatever. Maybe you used a cushion. And as you exhale again, keep thinking about rolling those shoulders back and reaching the heart forward. Nice. If it's a little too much for your neck, you can sort of take your head in your hands, sort of like something bad happened, and just let your head be really heavy, or if you have a yoga block or something that you can rest your head on, you're welcome to do that. If your neck feels okay, you're also welcome to stare at your dog's very muddy feet in front of you. We just went on a big walk. <laughs> nice. We'll be here for about three more breaths. Two more breaths. And one more breath. <sighs> nice. To come out, gently take your hands to your sausage <laughs> and send it forward. And then make a pillow for your head with your hands. Or maybe you even can use this little blanket by the loop. And just let your tail wag softly from side to side, releasing your hips and your lower back. Great. All right, the next move we're gonna make is really yummy for our low back. So from your belly, you can stay in your belly and you can keep using this guy as a pillow. That might be super nice. Start to bend your right knee towards your right elbow. So maybe this is how you sleep at night. I, I sleep like this a bit. <laughs> and this is simply it. Nice. Keep your head turned towards the right side so we're not doing any crazy twisting for our neck. And then to add on here, if you want a little extra something for your shoulder, then you can reach your left arm out to the left. And simply close down your eyes here. As you take air in through your nose, think I am breathing in. And as you exhale through your nose, think I am breathing out. Nice. Notice if you're holding any tension. So I know we look pretty chill and there's nothing really super difficult, I guess, about this pose. But even for me, I can feel my lower back gripping, sort of trying to keep this knee up here. So see if you can use that exhale breath to let go. And if that means that your knee, like mine's doing, is sort of crawling back down towards the lower edge of your mat, then that's fine. It's no problem. You want to use as little muscle energy as is physically possible here. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. We'll be here for two more breaths. And notice what your brain went to when I said that. Were you relieved? Maybe you wanted to stay here a bit longer. See how much you can just sort of stick with it and be present for the rest of this practice. There's not much left. We're going to take it to the other side now, so slowly 
Straighten your right leg back down to the mat. Turn to face the opposite way. And then start to bend your left knee towards your left elbow. Nice. Get situated and if you want that additional stretch for your shoulder, then reach that right arm out to the side. Deep breath in through your nose. And letting your lower back just relax as you breathe out. No tension in your glutes or in your hips. Nothing to do here except be in the shape and let your body just breathe you. Are you squeezing your glute muscles? Can you let your glute muscles be really heavy and really soft? Two more breaths here. One more breath. When you're ready, slowly start to lengthen that left leg back out along your mat, bend your right elbow. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders to bring yourself up onto your knees. And we'll finish today in child's pose. So again, if you wanna take that blanket underneath your knees, then that might be a nice option. And if anyone's looking at this blanket and going, that looks familiar, we stole it from Qantas. So if you've ever flown Qantas, maybe you got one of these at home as well. <laughs> We're gonna finish up today in a wide-legged child's pose. So take your knees super wide and bring your big toes to touch. Let your hips sink heavily down onto your heels. And as we shift forward, it's most likely that your hips will start to shift away from your feet and that's no problem. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, start to crawl your hands forward. And then we're gonna keep our elbows bent at 90 degrees as you take your forehead down to the mat. And if like me, you've got a big nose and it doesn't feel so nice to have your forehead down, maybe you just take your face to one side. I'm going to do that option, so if you are taking that option, don't worry, I'll let you know when to switch to the opposite side. So keeping your elbows bent here, not exactly at 90 degrees, but somewhere around there. Closing down the eyes and breathing deeply. Fill up your whole rib cage, feel it expand, and as you exhale, soften, soften into your hips. Soften your chest a little closer to the earth. Allowing your body this time to be still and to really go sort of deeper into our musculature, into our fascia, all good stuff that unfortunately we don't really give ourselves the time to do nearly enough especially like I said if you're practicing in December with the rest of us then you get it if your face is on one side then turn it to the other now Keep expanding your rib cage as you breathe in. Maybe you feel your skin stretch left to right, and as you exhale, how much can you soften into your mat? A 
we'll stay here for a little bit longer. These final moments to yourself, for your body, for your mind. Take one more deep inhale, expanding your ribs. And exhale, maybe out the mouth. <sighs> Slowly walk your hands underneath your shoulders and gently press yourself back up to a seat. You can choose to finish up on the knees or you can come to sit down on your booty. Take a comfortable seat of your choice, whatever that is. If you've got time, then I highly suggest giving yourself at least five minutes of just quiet meditation, sitting with your eyes closed. If you're ready to go, then bring your hands together at your heart. Sit up super tall. Breathe deep. Feel up all that space that you've created in your chest. And as you exhale, bow your chin. Thanks so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.